Thanks for joining this new training. Last week, we discussed and, and you got learned how to position yourself as an expert with something what is white labeled, something what is unique, something what businesses really like. Do you know that it is seven times easier for a business to sell his product or service to existing customers than to sell the service or product to new customers. So this is really something what local businesses want to benefit from. And the way to benefit from is A, you can send an email where there's nothing wrong with it, but the new technology lets you also have drop a voice message. Now there's a lot of technology behind that, but with the white label silent prospector, you can position yourself that you own that technology and you can hook, sign up that client for you. So let me first show how to order the white label. The white label, when, once you log in, you click on white label and you order the domain and it takes a up to a day that the white label is propagated, is set up, and once you have set up that white label domain, it will show your information, it will show your domain name and the silent prospect or logo will not show up anymore. So they don't, there is no reference to silent prospector at that point. Everybody get that? I know it's three, three minutes and we already discussed a lot. So, do you understand the process to order the white label? I cannot make it more difficult than that. You log in, you go to white label and you, you order the domain name. The cost of the white label is zero. It's included, none. Okay? There's no extra cost to it. Okay? So we just discussed it last week that I want to position as an easy to use system and have the white label included. Okay? So I can try to find the white label domain see if I can find it and then you can see really that it works okay let me try to find the white label domain and then you can see um, how it works you know so let me I, I really like this domain so, if you go to Easy Biz Prospector, you see this? Once you have that white label the name, but has one of the users barked, Easy Biz Prospector, you don't see the logo anymore. See just the domain name and the login. That is a white label version. There's no reference to Silent Prospector, at least that is our goal. So if somebody finds something we will update it, but that's how the system works. So within the application you can order the domain name like Easy Biz Prospector and this is your domain name. This is the same interface when you log in than the silent prospector but there is no logo. Okay? It's your your application. Does that make sense? And the many white labels users have already many white labels ordered. So if you want to come up with new domain names, you want to kind of make sure you get a good domain name. Okay? And like this, like I really like this Easy Biz Prospector. Oh my god, this is a nice domain name. I wish I had that. Okay? 
So step number one for my training was how can you set up a white label domain? So you go within Silent Prospector, enter domain name, you click if it is available, if it's available, it get ordered for you and within 24 hours will get set up to you. And once it's set up, you work with the white label domain. So that is step number one. If you own a domain, it needs to get transferred. So it needs to get transferred so we can uh, install it to the server. So now you're wondering, contact support, yes, support at jackhopman.com. So the the next step you probably want is how do you sign up clients, correct? How do you sign up clients to offer the sign up prospector application of your your wide label domain wide label domain website, correct? Application. So we have worked hard, and that is what I'm going to show you now, and you're going to learn, is to create a website for you. This is the website. So in the white label version, you can install it on your own domain. Okay? You see, you have the home page and the logo and this, and then it will, will demonstrate what it is. And everything what is in red here is in token. So in the back end of the team, you can enter the, uh, your application name. Okay? So, and once they are happy with it, they can go to pricing. And there's the table included and they can click on a button and order it. So now you have the application and it cannot be on the same domain name, no. You have the application and um, you have the website, the sales website. Does that make sense? Now, how look does in the back end? If you go in the back end and you go to Team Jack and Contact, you see those product name. You see that? Here you have the re reminders. And he have the product name. Now the product name is your white label name here. Okay, so let's say I wanted to change it to your white label here too. Update. And I go to the front end again. Let me do that. And then you see here the, 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 the name of the application is changed. Okay. So at this point, oh, when you go to, Steve, uh, to the back end of the team, you go to Team Jack Contact. And if you, you have your information blocks, okay? And then you click on product name, and then you change it to your, to your name, to your like. Okay, and if you update again, it will be the normal value, you're the normal name. Okay, now it is two, and if I refresh it, that two is gone. But that is where you want to have your name. So now that is just a local Team Jack site. Here now you can install 
your own sales website for the application. So now you not only have the application, but you also have the site to drive traffic to to offer your service. And you can show whatever you want. You have voice drops, what you for sure you want. It explains how voice drops works. It also explains how voice broadcaster works with the flowchart diagram and settings. It will have the benefits, the features, pricing page, Frigas ask questions. And I don't know the figures ask questions and the about about us page. Okay, so you probably want to add it a little bit about us page. The video at the moment is still the same video as on Silent Prospector. I will create for you a new white label video what doesn't spell out the name of Silent Prospector, and it's more geared to sign up business. That takes about three weeks. In three weeks you get a URL for me and you can just exchange the URL to show uh, the new video. For now it is good. It's not bad but if the name Silent Prospect is out of the video it's better. So what you guys think? Can we receive the video by adding our brand? Yes you can. You can, you can edit the video. So you can you can have an I think you, you it's good to edit a little bit. You have a contact us so you can contact you know you can have the social links if you want it or just delete them. It will show what what it does. So offering this service yeah, you can edit the video if you want. Add the video, upload to your own channel. I will put that uh, in the membership site. Is there a way to create a host of contact form? Yes, there is a way. Uh, so if you go to uh, landing pages and forms. One of the forms is an, uh, an horizontal, or horizontal form, so you can use that in a section. I'm in Canada. Can the pricing be changed as it costs 32 more for the QZ? Yes, you can. The pricing, so, so when you go to pricing, it's now showing in dollar and uh, whatever. So you go to pricing table and it is the table. So now you can say I want to charge for the basic two ninety seven. And for the business, I want to charge 397. Okay, and you update that. And if you go to the front end, you will see those prices are changed. Okay, now the big question is where goes? You know, I will discuss. I will discuss as a little bit at the end where those buttons go to. Okay. But you see how this customizable is to your like, okay? So you can just this is just this is just a website with is 90% for you done, and you can just add it a little bit to your like, okay? Now you can position your servers really good. You don't need to be creative. You just fill in the blanks. Works the same as any other local team jack.
and all of that fee is ours and so you can just it as a regular local team jack site drag and drop yes so if you go to I still have to tweak a little bit but if you go to niche website you see it now here okay so still tweaking a little bit so you will see you installed at 11 but we have to tweak it a little bit still it is for 95 percent done and then you will have one click install okay so it worked like any other local team jack drag and drop site one click install you customize customize do you like If we have an other domain, can we set it up and install the silent prospector team? Yes. It doesn't need to be on the white label domain stronger. It cannot be on the white label domain. You need to have another domain for it. What, if anything, would keep me from using that in Colombia? Yeah the technology so you want to pro you want to prospect USA or Canada companies uh, voice broadcaster will eventually work in more content but voice drops is limited I don't understand what you mean about white label domain okay inside silent prospector you order a white label domain correct that will be the silent prospector domain. This domain is not the same as the silent your white your 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 website. So if you go to Easy Biz Prospector, the website, the sales website, is not the same domain as the Easy Biz Prospector site. At least not at this point. Now at this moment you cannot have a, a subdomain, but you can have this. Can I move a domain name to Silent Prospector? I don't know what you're thinking. So inside Silent Prospector you order domain, that is for the application. Okay, is that part clear? The second domain, the second part is for the sales website you need to use another domain name okay that is how it at the moment works how do we add a customer then when they are trying to buy okay so that comes the next part. I was waiting for that question. Um, if you go to pricing, you have buy buttons on the on the website, correct? What you want to do, you want to link this to Silent Prospector, okay? Uh, I mean Netson Bank. You want to link this to Netson Bank. Once you're Netson Bank, you create this product. You add the product and you say product name is silent. Uh, your uh, product name is, what was the name again? I just clicked it away. Easy Biz Prospector. Easy, easy Biz Prospector. Okay? And the sales URL is uh, I only need this so you, you take the sales URL
Gewoon een selecte. De bio al, de redirect al. Where do you want to have them go? You probably want to have a thank you page. I think I, I, I will add a thank you page. That is easy for you. So we will create a thank you page in this. So let's say pages. And then do add pages. Add new. And then thank you. And use the builder. And let's say we use an existing page and we use a load page. Let's say we use about us for now. Okay? And save that. Publish. And we don't show that in the menu, but this is then the thank you page. Okay? So that will be the redirect URL. Okay? Then the payment dis description. It's kind of easy best prospect. Uh, uh, starter. And place your order. Uh, you can use the gateway you have. You can use PayPal, Stripe, Authorize Net. You can send a text message if you want for the when they um, have successful paid. This is a recurring payment. How often? Monthly. How many times? If until cancelled. Recurring amount. Let's stick with 197. And first amount, let's say we also do 197. Okay? You can give them a coupon if you like. Let's say 197 uh, starter. Uh, Starter. Easy. Bisp. Okay. And then you can even upload your own logo and submit. Okay. Now we have that. Where is Easy Bisp here? We take this URL, product URL. And then we go to the website, pages, we go to pricing, oh sorry, that's wrong, we go to the table, pricing table, we're going to edit that, and we're going to change that button, simple button, purchase, Okay, that is the link and open a new tab. Okay, and we set for United States 197 and this was 297. Okay, save this, update. Now if you uh, Refresh that site. Look at the front end. Then go to pricing. And we just define this go to Netson Bank. And now they can buy the product. Okay. So now you have Alton checkout page. And once they check out the system, you get a payment notification and you just create the account inside, inside uh, Silent Prospector. That is coming this weekend. Everybody uh, understand the process? There's a lot. No, there was a lot, correct? So let me hopefully... Okay. So, here you have your website, Arlene. 
and you have buy buttons. Those are buy buttons, correct? But a buy button needs to go to a payment system. And you can use Netson Bank to in order that your client can pay you. That is what we just did. So if you go, that is what we just did. We we link this button to Natson Bank. You log in Natson Bank. You log in Natson Bank. You go to products, and you add a new product, and you fill in the blanks, and then you grab that URL. Does that make sense? My only problem is that sales was just does not work constantly. Yeah, we we are working on it. Is there is there a similar logo team jack site for call C D? Not yet. But I might make that. If you upload the logo, where does it show? Here uh, on the top. So if you upload the logo um, if you go to the checkout page, you see a buy product. Here, the, the logo will show. You will see. A, you will just see change change the fields on the Nets and Bank, and you will see. Okay. Just upload it. Nothing can go wrong. What is the difference between starter and business pricing? Okay, it is up to you. That is just a proposal. You see here, this proposal is 400 credits they get with every $197 payment each month. And each credit costs 25 cents extra. Or the business level, you sell it for 297 and they get 1,000 credits for it with it and each credit extra is 20 cents those settings will be available in a week or so that you can make that setting in Netson Bank the company login is almost ready so just for now sign up clients okay create a website sign up clients get 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 to action okay Start taking action. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me explain it again. Okay. Um, Art said it doesn't make sense. So let me explain it another way and then you will get it. When you sign up in Google AdWords client, okay, do you create first a campaign and then you sign up the client or you first sign up the client and then you create the Google AdWords campaign? When you sell a website. Do you first create a website and then sign up the client or you sign up the client and then you create a website? Okay? I, I see over and over again all those fears. Okay? So, this week you want to you want to uh, sign up clients. Focus on sign up clients. Your cost is only 10 cents. And you get even 500 credits for free each month. Okay? So with this pricing settings, you're making big money. Okay? Now, the question is, do you want to get the list from the client or they can log in? So if you get the contact list from the client, you can just upload the contact list from the client and start the campaign. So that is option one. 
The second option is that you create a company login. If you are familiar with the call portal, you can create a company login. This will work the same in Silent Prospector, okay, and will be on your white label domain. That you can create a company login, they can log in, you can log in on their, their, their account, and you can and they can upload it. So they're using your system more or less. They pay you 25 cents for each credit and you only pay 10 cents for each credit. Does that make sense now? So first of all, you kind of want to use the silent prospect a little bit for yourself. So you you are more comfortable with how things work, but it is easy. And then, in the meantime, you're going to create your white label sales website, your client website, and you're going to sign up clients. You're going to link the buy button, buy buttons to Netson Bank. Okay, I I will demo it one more time in a bit. Then they can sign out. You get paid. You get an email notification with payment. And now you have you have the phone number, and you're going to work with a client to set things up. Okay, either you do the campaign for them, or you will you will give them login company login. That company login is ready within a week. It's coming weekend. That is how things are planned out. I just said we are working with a couple of programmers to add any feature what we come come up with and what we get feedback from it. I already use Samka. Do I have to use Netson Bank? No. You you can link this buy button. You can link this buy button to any checkout page. Okay? This is nothing to do with Netson Bank. It is just very easy. Set up Netson Bank is very very easy. But it's not necessary. You even don't need to use this theme. You can use your own website. If you are creative, you have your own IDs, just use your own website. This is just a very good website, but we know will work because it's, it, it's, it looks kind of the same content of Silent Prospector, but it's optimized for signing up clients. So you have a head start. Doesn't take much than one click. White label is basically reseller system. Yeah, you take the benefits and not the pain. Where I missed where do I find the website team? So if you go to Team Jack Biz, there's niche websites and it will be shown an eleven white label silent prospector. Okay. There are some tweaks where we still have to optimize, so don't install it yet, but in one of two days, everything is, is streamlined, okay? That is where you can find it, okay? It's part of local team, Jack. Then you want to connect the pricing table to Netson Bank, okay? It's just so easy. If you have another solution, it's fine. But if you don't have a solution, use Netson Bank. If you go to jackhopman.com, you will see all the products, okay? There's, you only have to remember one domain name, jackhopman.com, and you have F access to all my products. Could you come up with a number checklist to get set up? Yes, I, we can do that, Art. We can just make a checklist. So fill in this, fill in that, fill in that, and the website is ready. It will be very short checklist, but we can do that. Okay, and we will put it uh, inside the freaks ask question or so. Yes, we can do that. I will do that. Good question, Art. It's very easy, I promise you.
So the basic question is, when you got to this webinar, I promised you that you were able to order your own domain name so you have your own white label silent prospector. I promised you that you in one click you can set up your own sales website. You go to local team like this, you select this website. And then once you have set up, you link the buy button to Netson Bank. So if a client wants to log in themselves, they pay us for the ability to use our platform, yes. So within a week, this weekend, you will have a company login information. You can give the company a username and password with your application. Okay? Next step is you can have the company pay you for the users, a certain amount for the credits and a certain amount how many credits they get free and how many, how many they pay per month. So how much they pay per month, how many credits are included and the, the charge for extra credits. Okay? And that goes via Nets and Bank too. So Nets and Bank is just your ATM machine. Okay? It will help you to get the client pay you. The client pays you, let's say, 25 cents per credit, and you only pay 10 cents me. So you always make profit. And then you have your monthly fee also. Does that make sense? So now, after this weekend, and maybe a little bit, a couple of days after that, you have a white label version Okay, from Silent Prospector. You have the sales website where you can sign up clients. And then you can also create companies inside Silent Prospector in your white label version so your company can log in, upload their own list, and use the white label version. So if you, let's say, I have a question. Voicemail gets charged to the prospects. No, they don't get charged to the prospects. It goes from computer to computer. In normal use, is there any active involvement on our part once they get set up? I think, yes. They will need some training, and they will have some questions in the beginning. So in the beginning, they probably need uh, a demo. Okay, so you probably want to use it first a little bit for yourself, at least a, a small campaign, so you know how the settings are and then you can explain it also better to the client. Is the client going to be adding the numbers or are we? That is an option. So they can provide you the list or they can, if you have a company login, they can upload it by themselves. Or cost automatic gets paid to you, yes. If if the client let's say the client wants to order thousand credits and you and you only have five hundred credits in your account, of course you want that the client is able to order thousand credits. It doesn't have that balance, so you you order thousand credits uh, from me, so you have that in your account, so the client can get those thousand credits and you make always profit. The voice matches only get between 8 a.m. To, to 9 p.m. Yes, you can uh, delete line items. Okay, that pricing table is just to make it easy for you to have a base. Okay, 
But at pricing table, you see that? You can delete things. You see this uh, trash can? So you delete the line. You can change the text to your own language. You can change the prices. You can do anything with it. That is just a an, an good idea. But you can adjust it to your market or your target. So what do you guys think? Who wants to, to install that website? It will be all automatic, Arlene. You don't need to buy more credits uh, from me manually. It will all be automatic. Yes, you can edit Karen's videos and then send it, give it to your prospects. Arlene said, whoa, <laughs> I think I take that. Eddie said, Jack, this is Eddie. This is amazing. Thanks, Eddie. I think Arlene is a, a lot of stuff to cover. Arlene said, except I need to be sure I have money in my bank account to cover sudden increases. So Arlene, the client pays you. They pay, let's say, 25 cents per credit, and you buy them for cheaper. So you always have more money in your bank account. OK? And once you're rolling, your your bank account is growing, so you don't have that problem. So that is kind of a bit in a box. Uh, do you guys see that? You have an application what is unique, what you set up yourself as an expert. You have the sales website, you have a checkout website where you can handle the payments and soon you have you can set up company login and also make sure that the company pays you. Jack, what is the monthly fee for us to use the system? It's uh, $49.95 plus 5% transaction fee per month. So and actually if you really do the math, it is free. There's no monthly fee. So you get 500 credits. Each credit is 10 cents. 500 times 10 is, is cents is $50. So actually you get, you get as equal to credits as the monthly fee. And the credits doesn't, doesn't go, they roll over, okay? So, last weekend there was one dollar trial and I'm planning to do this weekend a special again for one dollar. It depends a little bit if the company login is ready. So it looks good at this point. And I think you guys want to have access to the sales website anyway soon, so. That is looking good. Okay? So, I don't think, I think you guys have the feeling you are on a $500 webinar, don't you? Who have that feeling? And, You will tell us when the site is ready. Yes, I will. Uh, I will send out an email. Thousand dollar webinar said will. <laughs> yeah, I have to disappoint you. It's only a fifty dollar webinar, <laughs> and you actually, if you said five hundred credits, 
th there's no molten fee. Yeah, so the white label website um, application is another domain name than the sales website at this point. Will the sales website be hosted on the Gateway? Yes, it can, but you can also host it on your website. So it's not related to the Gateway, only only when you install a feed dub gateway, it, it makes it everything so much easier. Okay, so Gary said I will just make a sales page just as a folder on my main website. Yes, that's good. It's, it's always good to start, okay? You can always ha have it uh, on a main domain. So let me, do, do you guys want to see uh, how to create a buy button again in Natsen Bank? So, what you want to do is you want to have a buy button on your on your website, correct? So you need to have a checkout page. So what you want to do is you want to create for first a link. So let's say we create the business level. So you log in Natsen Bank. You log in Natsen Bank and go to product and you add a new product. And you say easy biz prospector easy biz prospector and then you say business level and you can do the sales URL so you know which website the button is uh, placed on okay And then there is eventually the buy URL. And then you get the redirect URL. So let's say it's slash thank you. And actually, I'm going to create that thank you page. So it's very easy for you. Payment description is easy biz. Easy prospect to biz. Place your order. You can select your gateway. And it is recurring. And it is monthly. How many time? Infinitive, and then recurring amount was two ninety seven, and you can have first payment amount, and you can also give a coupon if you want, and let's say e business budget business. Okay, so that is the very basic. And then you click on submit. Okay, the first patient is open. So let's say, okay, first payment is also 297. Okay, same value. So now I I have okay, what is the easy biz public business level? That is the buy link. Now what I want to do is that this link becomes a buy link. So simple button, so sorry. So you go in the back end of the team and you go to pricing table and you edit the pricing table. And now this button, I want that it 
of the new tab and I want that the, the, the button link and I save that setting. Okay, and I update that. And, and when I go to the, the website, refresh this business level and I, I that is my checkout page now. And now you see the product name and the price and then they can fill out the information and you can start you can add more information to that. That is basically it. So you create a link in Netson Bank and you put a link on the website. And you can this link you can put it on any website. Doesn't need to be on the white label website, can be on any website. Can even be in an email. You just create that buy link. Does that make sense? So any question about creating a buy link? This was very hard before Nansen Bank existed. Okay, in Silent Prosp in Nansen Bank, you can create those buy links. Let's stop with that. Can everybody create a product and create a buy link? Enter yes or no. Once you have created that buy link, you can put that link in your email on your website, on Facebook, wherever. It's just a buy link. And when you go in the pricing table, it's even more easier. You want to have this button as a link. So you go to the pricing table, you're going to edit that, and then you just click on a button, and then you have the settings, and you enter that link. And now you have not only a sales website, but I also have uh, a link to it where I can check it out. Okay. So, let's uh, summarize it. With in Silent Prospector, you can order your own domain name. And once you have done that, let me I'll show you a sample, easybizprospector.com. So it will show this, okay? So no logo anymore, your domain name and your login. Next step, you want to create a sales website like this. It's, sales websites will be in local team jack and it's one click install and you want to update a couple of things and we will create an uh, a checklist okay and then you go to pricing table and you you want to set it to your like your monthly fee and whatever you want to offer for it so when you go to the price table in the back end of the team you're going to edit it and then you just click on it and change the value to your like. Next step is that you want to have a checkout page. You want to get paid for it. So you create a buy link inside Netson Bank. Okay? You just create a buy link. You grab that link and you put it in uh, inside the price table. You click on it and you paste that link here. So now you have the circle round, correct?
if a voice drop is not successfully delivered, it will not count as in credit. So the client and you, you only get charged for successful drops. That is all handled by the system. You, there's no manual work for you. Does that make sense? Any other questions? Client gets charged automatically if he goes over the thousand credits? Credits? Yes. By this weekend or afterwards, there will be a setting that you can say that is the rate for that company. And if he needs more credits, he needs to order them. And they will pay you whatever you, ch you have your setting, let's say 25 cents and they get automatically charged to receive those credits. They pay you and you get them at the wholesale price at 10 cents. So in order to, you don't know in front of if a voice drop is successful or not, so we we have some reservation, assuming that a certain amount of percentage is, is successful. And once the campaign is finished, if there are lesser successful drops than uh, in reality, it will balance them out once you close the campaign. But they are paying me automatically for extra credit. Yes, there's no manual work for you. Okay, it will be all automated. Okay, so you set it up, you give them access, you give the training, and they're all good to go. Put them on a white label domain so they think it's your system, and you're just signing up new clients. You want to prospect businesses who have an existing client database, so they they understand the value to uh, prospect those because it's so much easier to sell an existing product or service to existing clients. Are there any tutorials inside the help to the client's team? So you have a check, you have an option to show the tutorials like you see them. So you can have them, as you, ha you can have that option. Yes, you can also use Lead Finder Jack and also New Biz Prospector to upload um, data to upload the phone number so you can prospect certain businesses. That side, that that checkbox for the client login will is getting created now and get available this weekend, Arlen. So create a website. Customize it to your like, sign up clients. By the end of the week, when you have a client, you have also a company login. Take it step by step. Yeah, you can use Twitter and you can use Facebook. You can use everything to drive traffic to your sales website. YouTube, yes. Jack, do you have a hosting website in Jack Team? If there isn't one, what is it possible of creating one? You hosting website. Not sure what you mean, but 
I'm sure I'm sure you know Derby Gateway. Can we build a site out tonight? No, don't do that. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not 100% uh, ready yet. So probably tomorrow or the day after, then you want to create it. Do it. I have submitted my website. Exciting, said Gary. Can't say to or to sell hosting. Oh, yeah, I'm working on that. I'm working on an affiliate program for that. Yes, well, that is coming. That is coming. I'm working on an affiliate website so you can earn money when you sign up the gateway clients and all the things. So that's coming. Okay, then I would to thank everybody for joining this call. I uh, really appreciate all your guys' um, feedback and comments and interactions. Uh, the webinar will be posted hopefully Thursday or tomorrow, I think, or maybe an hour. Let's see how th things go fast. And take action, install the website via local team jack and customize to your like. Thank you so much.